Hey everybody, it's Josh coming to you with another Barefoot Shoe Review. Today is a special day because we have two firsts in one video. Number one, it's a company we've never reviewed before. And number two, it's a type of shoe that we've never reviewed before on the channel. So two firsts, one video, we're gonna get into in a second. But before we do that, the usual YouTube stuff, hit like, hit subscribe, hit the notifications bell. Like, subscribe, and notify so that you catch my videos in a timely fashion. If you're into barefoot shoes, you're not gonna wanna miss my reviews anyways, so just go ahead and do it. Like, subscribe, notify, and beyond that, you're gonna wanna follow me on Instagram, at Barefoot Shoe Josh. Barefoot Shoe Josh on Instagram. I do more detailed reviews there than what I do here. Score every shoe in 10 different categories, possible score of 100, plus cool pics of barefoot shoes on your Instagram feed. So follow me on Instagram, Barefoot Shoe Josh. All right, let's get into the review, okay. Today, ooh, I'm dropping shoes already. <laughs> Today, the company, Kyrgyz, Kyrgyz. And you see the sheep? These are two important things when talking about Kyrgyz. I'm gonna talk about Kyrgyz. Why is it called Kyrgyz? Because they are made in Kyrgyzstan, the country Kyrgyzstan. If you don't know where that is, it's in Central Asia, near Afghanistan and Uzbekistan and all the other stands, okay? Kyrgyzstan, uh, made there in Kyrgyzstan. And uh, why the sheep? because they're made of wool, <laughs> of course. Okay, so that's their logo, that's their name, all of it makes perfect sense. What can I tell you? It's a small company, uh, they make things sustainably, ethically in Kyrgyzstan, it's a woman-owned company, all of the production managers are also women, and 80% of the artisans who hand make these, I haven't told you what type of shoes they are, <laughs> are also women, these slippers, these house shoes. Boom. Slippers or house shoes. We've never reviewed a slipper or house shoe on this channel. So I'm excited for that reason. Check them out. Two different models they sent me to review. The Wides and the Wovens. You can probably guess why these are called the Wovens. Look at them up close. Woven from like a yarn made from this wool from these sheep in Kyrgyzstan. And secondly, the Wides are also made from wool, but they make a wool felt. So it's not woven yarn. It's felt. And so check out some of the differences. Well, first of all, let's go to the things that are all the same, right? They're all gonna be barefoot uh, friendly in most regards. Okay, I'm gonna go into the exception uh, on some models in a minute. This one's barefoot friendly, zero drop from heel to toe. I know it looks a little curvy right here just in my hand, but it's, you know, it's leather, it's wool. It's, it's uh, you know, it, it, it doesn't, ha it's zero drop. Let's just leave it there. It's a flat surface to stand on. There's no arch supports on the inside, okay? it's shaped like a human foot, no pointy nonsense, uh, plenty of room for your little feet in there. These are slippers or house shoes. They're gonna be comfy, loose, cozy. That's what you're after. They're actually made of wool uh, and so they are warm in the winter, cool in the summer. They're designed to, to work both ways uh, in an insulated uh, regard. And what was I gonna tell you? Zero drop, no arch support, anatomically foot shape. Oh, obviously flexibility, because these are made of wool. I mean, yarn, I mean, how, how flexible do you think yarn is? It's, I mean, you can see it's just laying there. It's so flexible. And they put a leather sole on both of these models, leather soles, okay? So it's like a nice, soft, thin, flexible leather. As you can see, plenty of flex in the sole, obviously plenty of ground feel, you're gonna be in your house. <laughs> all, the, all of the tests hold up here, twisty tests, and whatever you wanna do these things, you know, boom, wavy tests. All right, so uh, wool and leather soles. Now, that brings up an important point about these sandals. They say on these, all the leather sole versions, key point, these are not recommended for outdoor wear. You can see why, I mean, it's a beautiful, nice leather. It's not the thickest leather in the world. You can get a feel for it right there. Um, so, you know, obviously not great to be walking around on asphalt, concrete, etc., in our in our concrete jungles that we live in most of the time or on rocks and that kind of stuff, it's gonna rip up your leather. So these are not recommended for outdoor wear. I know a lot of us like to go out and get our mail and, and take our trash cans out and do whatever we do in our slipper, go get the newspaper if people still get the newspaper. <laughs> but in any case, those particular models, these two models are d designed for indoor use. That's what most people are gonna wear slippers or house shoes, it's right there in the name, house shoes, they're for the house. <laughs> okay, um, but they do make some outdoor models. I, I think it's, they're called outdoor slides, if I remember correctly. It's right in the name. I mean, you gotta love the naming conventions here. Wovens, why are they called wovens? Boom, they're woven. The wides, why are they called wide? They're a little extra wide. <laughs> the outdoor slides, 
why are, why are they called outdoor slides? You slide them on your feet, you go outdoors. Uh, you know, it's pretty, pretty remarkable, right? Um, they have another one that's more like a shoe. I think those are called Tengri's. Anyways, they have kids, women's, men's, whatever, but, you know, several different colors, several different styles. All of them, you can get a discount uh, if you use my information down below. I, I don't remember the exact discount right now. I'll have it right here in the video description. Just look at it. <laughs> use my link and or code, whatever it says down there. And whatever gets you, it gets you. Thanks. All right, cool. I appreciate it. If these videos are helpful to you, by all means, you know, help me out if you can do that. So uh, what else to tell you? Okay. Why, why is one more barefoot friendly than the other? Looking at them, if you, if you can tell. Okay. This one has a heel. The, the wovens have like a heel on there, right? It slips on. It's, it's basically, it's on your foot. Okay. These wides and some other models they have are like a slip in, slip out. They just have this little nub of a heel. So it's not technically connected to your foot. Just like there's uh, barefoot sandals and there's non-barefoot sandals. The primary distinction, uh, you know, other than not having arc support and being, you know, foot shaped and all that kind of stuff, is that a barefoot, a truly barefoot sandal will have a strap going over your heel to fully secure it to your foot. The reason being, if you don't have that, same with a slipper, uh, you're going to start uh, clamping with your toes. Uh, either downward clawing them or upward to get them to brace on the inside of the shoe to hold them on your feet so they don't flip off at the wrong time. It's just what your feet do naturally and instinctively if they're not fully secured to your foot. So technically the wides are not quote unquote fully barefoot, whatever. Uh, we're talking about house shoes, slippers, you know, around your house. It's not going to kill you. If you like the slip on slip off, grab that. If you like this and you want to grab the heel and be fully barefoot compatible, then the wovens or maybe another model like the 10 degree shoes or some other model on there would, would be a good fit for you. If you want to go outdoors, get the outdoor slides. Take a look at what else they have. Um, what else am I forgetting to tell you? Great. Besides, besides them being a woman owned, woman run, women do everything, they're a company. They're also uh, ethically sustain sustainably made in Kyrgyzstan. They support a lot of charities. They're like a 1% company. They give donate a proportion of all of their profits to charities and so on and so on and so on. Awesome company. Uh, what am I forgetting? Oh, the price. That's important. Right now, before I tell you the price, I am going to recommend that you go watch uh, these two videos on their website. I don't know why they split it into two. They're like two, two and a half minutes each. So it's a total of maybe five minutes you're watching. But if you have any curiosity about how women in rural Central Asia hand make slippers out of wool, boom, you're going to want, <laughs> you're going to want to watch those videos. Even if you're not buying any, watch the videos. It's super cool. You'll see them take the wool, make yarn out of the wool. You'll see them weaving this fabric on looms, uh, played in on stays, doing the leather, hand tanning the leather, cutting the leather, and all that. You will not argue with the price. Oh, one iota, I promise you, if you watch those videos. And uh, so anyways, so that brings us to the price. I have the pricing a little bit confused here, but it looks like the wovens are $84 and the wides are $89. So $5 difference, I might have that backwards, but I think it's $84 for the wovens, $89 for the wides. Now here's what I'm gonna say. As I mentioned earlier in the video, I have typically bought cheap, crappy slippers for my whole life. I'm almost 50 <laughs> and I have to buy a new pair without exaggeration every single year. I don't know if I'm rough on my slippers or what, but, uh, you know, I go to the big box crappy stores and I spend 15 to $20, typically right in that range, about $20 for a decent pair of sandals. I get them for Christmas. It's like that traditional Christmas gift. And literally before the next Christmas comes around, I'm already in need of another pair because I've ripped them up. And, and that's just to me, I, I, to me, it just feels like wearing slippers. So I don't know what I'm doing wrong, but I'm ripping them up. So you spend $20 a, a year or you spend, uh, you know, 84 or $89 on a quality handmade pair supporting a small ethical women owned business in Kyrgyzstan, uh, getting some quality gear that if it lasts you four or five years uh, at a minimum, inside your house, uh, you have, you have not spent a dime more than what you're spending now on buying crappy ones every year. Like I have, so get good stuff. That's one thing I'm learning in my old age, buy good shoes, buy quality stuff, buy quality gear. It lasts you longer and you just feel better and you're taking better care of yourself and treating yourself like you deserve. Give yourself a little treat. You deserve it. All right. So boom.
that's the review. I am going to try them on my feet so that you can see me, you know, see what they look like on human feet. And that's always good. If you want to hang out for that, do that. If not, either way, thank you for watching the video. See you on the next video. Peace out. <laughs>
uh, fact of those heels, you know, better attaching the slipper to your foot, this is your guy. All right, but for the wides, for me, it's hands down. Uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna wear both, I just know myself, and I'm hoping that maybe those wovens will stretch out a little bit and that tightness will decrease over time. But for me, the slip, I, I know they're not barefoot, true to barefoot thing because of the heel, I get that all right. But for me, for slippers, I'm slip in, slip out. I work at home, I kick my shoes off, I kick them on when I wanna walk around the house. I, you know, I, I'm kick on, kick off, slip on, slip off constantly. And also because these are wides and my feet are extra wide, it's just so, these are just more comfortable and a better fit for me. Now, your mileage may vary. Now, if you want to slip on like this, but you don't have extra wide feet, they have a model to fit you. If you want a uh, model like this, but you want to be able to go outside, they have a model to fit you with rubber bottoms. They have something for everybody. So check out Kyrgyz. My information, uh, my discounts and everything are good on any model you choose. So check it out. You're going to find something that's going to work out for you. Thanks so much for checking out the video. See you next time.